Hey guys, this is my review of the new Razor Orcas. So the box looks pretty cool from here. There's a couple strips on the side of the box with where the window is. That's a ergonomic design for comfort. Enhanced audio for music and gaming. Music and gaming plug and switch cable. So the window was where the ear cuff was when the Oracle was still inside. And on the back of the box, there is a diagram that says uh, enhanced bass and positional audio for music and gaming. There's also extension cable for ease of access between MP3 player and gaming rig. And then there's the ergonomically designed for maximum comfort. On the bottom, that's just in a bunch of different languages. and. This here is the classification of which this headset is. There's basically three Razer classifications, if you will, that they put their products in. So Essential is basically the lowest class, even though the lowest class of Razer is pretty good. And uh, that's for maybe light use of gaming in their terms. Experts for more hardened Toughened warriors, in a, in a way, yeah, yeah, in that way. And uh, elite, those are the super expensive ones that only rich people or people who live in their mom's basement buy. And on the right hand side of the box, there's three icons. They say thumping clarity with those um, bass sound lines and plug and switch, which looks kind of wrong. Cush <laughs> fit, which. Yeah. <laughs> and the braided fiber cable. You always want to look for a braided fiber cable when you're looking for gaming. They're very stretchy and they won't uh, cause resistance when you're um, moving your head, I guess. And on the final side, there is a message from Razor Guy. It says, sound never looked so good. There's that long message, which I won't read, but you guys can freeze the frame if you want. And there's three pictures. They're titled Cush Fit, Thumping Clarity, and Plug and Switch. You can freeze the frame there if you want to read those. And on the bottom, the technical specifications, 15 to 21,000 hertz. That's the frequency response. And the impedance, there's 32 ohms at 1,000 hertz. And okay, the, the rest, you can just freeze the frame if you want. So on to what comes in the box. There's the razor, orca, there's the extension cable, and there's also three pieces of paper. So there's three pieces of paper that come with the razor orca. There is the certificate of authenticity signed by Razor Guy. You can freeze the frame if you want to read that. And on the back there's a razor symbol. And there's also the quick start guide. So inside it basically tells you how to connect it to your computer, what plug to connect it to, how to adjust the headset for your head, and the parts of the headset. There's also the same thing in a bunch of different languages. So if you're not English, you can take part in this video too. But you won't understand me, so I guess there's no point. There's also a really big razor sticker for your um, computer or wherever you want to stick it onto. Now let's get to the headphones. So uh, along with the razor sticker, the quick start guide, and the certificate of authenticity, there is a very long six feet extension cord. So they are gold plated for better conductivity, made very high quality because they're braided and they won't break as easily as regular ones and they're much more flexible. Um, it'll reach behind the case easily, which is what the extension cable is for. And what they've done is they made it easier to take out so that when you want to take it out for a Go on your iPod or MP3 
three player, you can just take it out easily without having to reach all the way behind your case, unplug it, and then go. So that's about it for the extension cable. So now on to the headset. It's not really a headset because there's no mic, but we'll call it that anyways. As you can see, it's very green, um, so you'll be able to spot anyone in a crowd with those on. The cable from this is just over a meter, so it'll go down to your uh, iPod or MP3 player, wherever it is. And it'll fit into any keyboard jack, um, if you have one. Uh, so, the comfort. The comfort, it's... For the first few days, you might notice it pressing on the back of your ear, but after a while, those will go away as you break them in. Um, after that, they're pretty comfortable. There's lots of cushion on the uh, around the ear as well as on the top of the head, so you won't really notice it on your on your uh, head. Um, they're very light as well, which is an added bonus. And the sound quality is pretty good for a $60 uh, pair of headphones, I guess. Um, yeah, the 40mm drivers are great for the bass. Um, you'll hear footsteps pretty well. Um, there's definitely surround quality to it. Uh, you can tell where the people are coming from if you're in a, in a shooter or whatever. And as for the music, it's decent. I haven't really tried it out that much, but for a sixty dollar, for sixty bucks, it'll do you pretty good. And the material, um, it's a uh, cloth around the earmuffs, as well as the top. And there's metal slidey things here to adjust for your head. And the rest is plastic, but it's not. It's not cheap plastic. You can tell that it's it'll hold together pretty well. It's not going to break, I hope, anytime soon. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.